In this presentation, we are going to solve question number 5. And according to this question, in this circuit shown, Vt is equal to 2 sin 1000T in volts and the resistances, they are equal to 1 kilo ohms and the capacitances, they are equal to 1 microfarad. And uh, we are required to find out the steady state current IT. This current here, we are required to find out in milliamperes. And there are four options given in the question and we are required to choose one correct option. I want you to pause this video, analyze this circuit and try to find out current IT in milliamperes. I hope you are done. Now let us move on to the solution. I want you to focus on these five branches. This is branch 1, this is branch 2, this is branch 3, this is branch 4 and this one here is branch 5. These five branches together are forming a bridge and uh, to make you visualize it properly I will shift this node of this resistor and I will move it here and I will pull this node and I will move in this direction and then I will rotate the entire circuit in anti-clockwise direction. After doing all these changes, we have a rearranged circuit which will look like this. And now you can clearly see that we have a bridge in this circuit. And I want to have this circuit in the frequency domain. We will first focus on the resistors we are having. According to the question, R is equal to 1 kilo ohms. Or I can write 10 raised to power 3 ohms. So here we will have 10 power 3 ohms, here also we will have 10 power 3 ohms and here also we will have 10 power 3 ohms. Now we will find out the reactance offered by the capacitors we are having which is equal to negative of J xc. This is equal to negative of J 1 over omega c. Talking about c we know C it is equal to 1 microfarad or we can say it is equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 farad and omega you can see from the question it is equal to 1000 so we can say omega is equal to 10 power 3 now when you simplify this you will have the reactance equal to minus j 10 to the power 3 ohms and therefore here we will have minus j 10 to the power 3 ohms here we will have minus j 10 to the power 3 ohms and here also we will have minus j 10 to the power 3 ohms now we will move on to the voltage source we are having when you focus on the question you will find Vt is equal to 2 sin 1000T. This is Vm, the maximum value of the voltage and theta V is equal to 0 degree. Therefore, the phasor voltage corresponding to the maximum value V phasor it is equal to 2 angle 0 degree in volts. Moving on to the current we are having in this circuit which is IT, we will have the corresponding phasor current represented by I phasor and if we can have I phasor we can have current IT which we want to find out in this question. So in this way we have obtained our circuit in the frequency domain and uh, now we will focus on the bridge we are having. If you remember in the lecture we were talking about the bridges with the impedances we obtained two conditions for the bridge to be balanced. Condition number 1 was magnitude of Z1 when multiplied to magnitude of Z4 should be equal to magnitude of Z2 when multiplied to magnitude of Z3. And condition number 2 was theta1 which is the phase angle of the first impedance when added to theta4 the phase angle of fourth impedance should be equal to theta 2 plus theta 3 
and uh, we will say that the bridge is balanced only when the two conditions are satisfied and uh, here in this case this one is z1 this one is z2 this one is z3 this one is z4 and this one here is z5 now let us find out whether these two conditions are satisfied in this bridge or not Magnitude of Z1 is 10 to the power 3. So we will have 10 to the power 3 multiplied to magnitude of Z4 which is 10 to the power 3. And they should be equal to magnitude of Z2 multiplied to magnitude of Z3. And as you can see that they are equal. So condition number 1 is satisfied. Let's move on to condition number 2. Theta 1 is equal to 0 degree theta 4 is equal to negative of 90 degrees so we will have 0 degree plus minus 90 degrees is equal to theta 2 which is equal to minus 90 degrees plus theta 3 which is equal to 0 degree so we have minus 90 degrees plus 0 degree from here we will have minus 90 degrees and from here also we will have minus 90 degrees so condition number two is also satisfied and therefore we can say that this bridge is in balanced condition and we can remove z5 and after removing z5 z1 and z3 are now in series z2 and z4 are also in series and now it is very easy to find out the equivalent impedance and once we have the equivalent impedance it will be very easy to find out I phasor so we will focus on calculating the equivalent impedance 10 to the power 3 will be added to 10 to the power 3 and the resultant from this branch is in parallel with this resistor so we can put 10 to the power 3 in parallel with this result and after this the resultant from here will be in parallel with negative of j 10 to the power 3 plus negative of j 10 to the power 3 we will have minus 2j 10 to the power 3 simplifying this portion we will have 2 over 3 multiplied to 10 to the power 3 so the equivalent impedance will be equal to 2 over 3 multiplied to 10 to the power 3 and this will be in parallel with minus 2j multiplied to 10 to the power 3. Now to make it simple we will convert z equivalent to the equivalent admittance y equivalent. We will take the inverse of this we will have 3 by 2 multiplied to 10 to the power minus 3 and in place of parallel we will have plus and uh, inverting this we will have j over 2 multiplied to 10 to the power minus 3 or we can say that the equivalent admittance y equivalent it is equal to 3 by 2 plus j by 2 milli ohm inverse now in order to have i phasor we will multiply the y equivalent obtained with v phasor so i phasor it is equal to v phasor multiplied to y equivalent from here we will have i phasor equal to 2 angle 0 degree multiplied to 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 angle 90 degrees j by 2 will have this as the polar form when you do the multiplication you will have i phasor equal to 3 angle 0 degree plus 1 angle 90 degrees and the unit will be milli amperes so in this way we have obtained the phasor current corresponding to the maximum value and uh, now we will have current i t current i t according to the question will have the form sine 
and omega will be equal to 1000 and the first value here is triangle 0 degree so corresponding to this it will be equal to 3 sine 1000t plus 0 degree plus corresponding to this we will have 1 sine 1000t plus 90 degrees 1 sine 1000t plus 90 degrees it is equal to cos 1000t so finally we can say that current it in milliamperes is equal to 3 sine 3 sine 1000t plus cos 1000t this is our answer and when you see the options you will find option c is the correct option